Hi guys, it's Claire. Thanks for clicking on this video today. It has been a minute since I have done any kind of get ready with me video. It's been almost a year and I used to do these fairly often just because it's fun. I got to do my makeup anyway. It's a good opportunity for me to catch you up on my life and just kind of chat with a friend. So I have already washed and moisturized my face and I'm just going to jump right into it. First of all, I have the cutest coffee mug. It's not mine. It says my favorite people call me blank and I'm dying to know what that's supposed to say and why it's blank Like are you supposed to write something in there with a sharpie? So it's 2 p.m. But I have coffee because it's needed today and I joined the cult I got a Stanley. I had to do the cream because I wanted a neutral color and The cult is justified All right starting with bare minerals prime time as my step one And next up is Clinique Pore Refining Solutions. I might have the camera too far away. I don't know if you can like really see the products that I'm using, but I guess I'm not too worried. I don't think people really come to this channel for the makeup. So I gotta admit, I'm feeling a little rusty. It's been a while since I've done this. As much as I love talking to a camera, the camera doesn't respond back to me like a human does. Since I have lived in a van since last July, I don't really have the opportunity to do makeup videos as much. Not that I'm like a makeup makeup guru or anything, but it's just fun. Anything like makeup, clothes, hair, probably something I'd consider a hobby, but not something I'm an expert at. And like, I do wear makeup living in the van, but definitely not very often. I think on an average day I wear mascara, if anything. A lot of days I don't wear anything or even wash my face. This is also kind of difficult because I don't have a mirror in front of me, so gonna be an issue later in this video but that sounds like a future Claire problem. This is Clinique Stay Matte Foundation. It is super old. Had it for years and I probably should throw it out but I don't throw out makeup because I just can't do it. I don't like wasting things and I know that's probably not good for my skin but I don't care. This stuff is almost gone anyway. I just gotta gut it out and then I can get something new finally. So if you're wondering why I'm in a house when I live in a van, we are currently in Michigan. I've explained this pretty much every video the past like four or five videos we've been here a while but Andy's family lives here and we've been using our relatives space as a workspace to do some renovations to the van in my recent videos I've shown that we've made like an office space because Andy has a remote job now and he needs a place to work in the van once we hit the road again we're gonna fix the ceiling paint the van the outside of it what else those are like the main things, but he's also added a swivel seat to the passenger seat, which is pretty cool. That's going to come in handy and having that added table space is going to be nice. He also fixed some of the drawers in the kitchen because the slides were busted and the drawers weren't really opening and working that well anymore. It's just nice to come home for like a few weeks and just kind of touch things up because when you live on the road, you know, living in a van it's very similar to living in a house like you always have projects that you need to do because something always needs fixed so it is like the most gorgeous day right now it's like upper 60s it might even be lower 70s it's sunny it's a friday afternoon and next up is the tarte shape tape i love this i just got the little mini because they last for so long and i just don't wear makeup enough to like get through products so from now on i'm switching to if there's a mini version of a product I'm gonna get the mini version because I bet you this still lasts me like a couple years. <laughs> Next up on our plan for travels, if you're wondering, we have a few states left on this side of the country. So we're in Michigan, right underneath us is Wisconsin and Illinois. And we've been to those states before, but not in the van. So we're gonna hit those this summer, visit some family hopefully, and hit those states while there's actually nice weather. And then we still need to go to Tennessee, which again, I've been there before, but not in the van. And I've only been to Nashville and Memphis, and there's other parts of Tennessee that 
I want to see. So I'm hoping we'll have time to do that this summer, but we are kind of running out of time. It's already mid-June. And then we want to go to Adirondack Park in upstate New York, but we kind of got to wait and see what the situation is going to be with the fires because that was going to be our next stop in the next couple weeks. We were going to head there next and we just got to make sure it's like open and that we can actually go there because we've noticed this happens to us a lot in the van. We will like make this whole plan and get to the location and find out that it's closed for like a variety of reasons. That's happened a lot with national parks. So if we go all the way to New York, we want to do upstate New York and Adirondack is just, I feel like a must do activity. So that's our plan for the summer. Then in August, early August, we're loosely planning to go to Iowa to visit some of my family members and see some friends for just like a few days. And then we have to book it to Idaho for a wedding. And after that, we don't really, we haven't talked about a plan yet, but um, I have some ideas. I think late August, early September, we might be going to the Pacific Northwest again. We might officially hit Oregon and Washington. We've obviously been to those states before because we lived there for five years and we've gone back multiple times since we've moved into our van. But we really wanna do Glacier National Park, I think it's called which is in Washington. And there's parts of Oregon I've never been to that I would really like to see. Do some hiking, that kind of thing. And the fall is perfect for that kind of activities in the Pacific Northwest. This is powder and it's like kind of running out. So it's getting hard to get it out of the container. Andy also had his teeth checked. He had like his annual cleaning or whatever when we were there um, in the spring and he found out he needs to get some teeth pulled. He still has some of his wisdom teeth and um, they're causing like overcrowding or something. Um, so he needs to have those removed. He wants to do it at the dentist that he went to in Washington state. So we might do that in the early fall. And then we still need to hit kind of a cluster of states on that side of the country. We need to do Montana, Wyoming, Utah, Colorado, Nevada. I think that's the final of all the states that we technically haven't been to yet. And then we want to come back to Iowa and Michigan for the holidays. So hopefully that works out. And there's a couple states we'd like to do again. We want to do the California coast. We didn't get to do the coast last time because we were really rushed. We only got to do the national parks. So I want to go back through California and do up the coast and just really take our time, take like a solid month or so to hit everything in California that I want to see. And then depending on timing and weather, we might go back to Florida again. It just kind of depends and then in a dream world we'd go to Alaska again but I don't think we're gonna have time for that because we would like to end up officially back in Washington state by like February end of February at the latest so that we can really start working again and just getting back to normal life so we're gonna play it by ear I don't officially go back to work until August of 2024 so we could go longer than February but we might just be ready to be done and start saving money again like really socking away money because, you know, we're kind of doing that again now that Andy's working, but obviously I don't have any kind of income and it'd be nice to do some subbing in the spring and just get a little bit of money coming in on my end of things. Our goal is to stay in the van until like June or July of 2024. I don't know if that's a realistic goal, but if we're living in the van from February to July of 2024, we wouldn't be paying any rent, but we both would be working and we would bring in so much money because we wouldn't be throwing a good chunk of our paycheck away to rent every month. So that would be really awesome. The problem is van life is really hard when you're in rainy weather and February, March, kind of April in Vancouver can be pretty rainy and miserable. So we might just get too sick of it and need to end up signing a lease somewhere, but I'm pretty determined. I would really like to do it. I think it'd be really awesome to use the opportunity to put money away, especially after me not having a paycheck for, you know, a year and a half at that point, but we'll see, we'll see what happens. I'm not really sure why I bothered just putting lip stuff on because I'm drinking water and coffee so it's just gonna rub off <laughs> whatever okay moving on to eyes all of my products are just like running low you know when you get to that point with a product where it's like you're running low on it but it still lasts for like another month or two <laughs> I feel like that happens a lot with makeup products like you think it's almost gone and it just keeps giving 
I forgot, we still technically need to do the Dakotas and Minnesota, which I've been to all of those states many times in my life, just not in the van. And you know, the whole goal, we have to go to every state in the van. But I don't know when we're gonna do that because I wanna go to the Badlands. So that would need to be when it's pretty nice weather. But I don't know if we're gonna have time to hit that in August. So again, we'll just have to see. My coffee's getting cold. I'm not drinking it fast enough. Okay, this is Lid Star in the color Lily by Glossier. It's like a pink color. Okay, this is when it's gonna start to get tricky because like, I don't even have like a little handheld mirror that I can hold up. Actually, I'm gonna go find one because this is not gonna be possible. Okay, I found a mirror. Gonna do some contouring. Figured why not go all out, do a full face. So this contouring kit, I'm pretty ashamed to say. I wasn't gonna say this, but for some reason now I am. I bought this contouring kit in 2017. It's over five years old. That's, I know that's so bad, but like, I'm not gonna buy any more contouring stuff because like, it just, I don't know. I feel like it's not such a thing anymore as it was in 2017. And like, I don't care enough to do that intensive makeup now in my late 20s. But um, like I said, I can't throw stuff out. So I'm gonna use it until it's gone. And it's like so old that it doesn't wanna blend. So it just takes like triple the time that it should. I don't know, maybe it looks god awful. Makeup artists, you can keep your judgments to yourself. Like, I don't even know if it's worth it to do all that. I feel like it doesn't look that great anyway for the amount of work I'm putting into it. Next up, we're gonna do some blush and some highlighter. And I just use my fingers for blush. I'm not trying to own like a million beauty blenders. Andy's working in the next room. So if you hear him talking, he's on a work call. Okay, going in with a lash primer. It's now 3 p.m. and I'm drinking coffee. I need this right now, but I'm gonna hate myself at 2 a.m. when I can't sleep, but it was necessary today, okay? Now, mascara. We're getting somewhere. Then I'm gonna go in with some brown, pretty easy liquid eyelining pen. This is from Clinique. I've been trying to switch to more browns versus blacks just because it goes better with my skin tone. So brown eyeliner instead of black eyeliner. It's just like less harsh. Finally, for makeup, I stole this Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray from Rachel. because I, I ran out of mine and I haven't bought any more. Oh my God, it's been a while since I've used setting spray. It's always like a shock to your skin. Okay. okay. I feel like I made that very dramatic. So for my hair, I can't decide if I should keep it in a clip like this with like some strands hanging down, just like casual, 
or if I should just have it down. Um, obviously it doesn't really matter. It's just like what I'm most comfortable with. I don't know, I can't decide. I think for my hair, I am gonna just wear it down. Just need to kind of run my straightener over the kink and give it a good spray down with hairspray. I feel like watching these clips back and seeing the faces I make when I get ready is gonna be really humbling for me. Okay, here is my final look for the day. Got my white Adidas tennies, red dress, denim jacket. Cute, comfy, perfect for the weekend. Thank you so much for watching this entire video. If you made it all the way to the end, leave a comment of the lipstick emoji. If you like this video, don't forget to give it a like, subscribe to my channel, and hit the bell notification. See you next time.